Here's his little curry basket, so we put him in, zipped him up, and it was off to the vet. So he wasn't real keen on going in this, but we got him in, and then it was time to put him out, take him out, put him in the car. What? Not too happy about being in here, are you? No, sure can I. Okay. He's not too impressed. He doesn't like going in his basket or his carry bag, whatever you like to call the damn thing. And he doesn't like going in the car that much. All right, now come on. We'll go inside. I don't know if you're going to like that much either. All right, come on. Let's go inside. You are right? Here we go. We go inside here. Let's sit here. No one's around. There we go. You right now? You right now? There you go. Give you a little pat. How's that? Hmm? Shoulder. Shoulder. Nee. There you go, pal. Hmm. How's that? Right. Uh, just have a wait for a sec. Okay, and then we went into the examination room. They got him out of his little bag. Put him on the scales and give him away. So he come up at 2.1 kilos. So they think the same, he's about three or four months old. So he'd be able to get desexed around November or December. But yeah, he was very good. You know, he never scratched, never bit. He just sat, he was really good. He was excellent at the vet. They had no problem with him. She checked all his eyes out and that, make sure he didn't have any diseases and that sort of thing. Um, she had a look, he's starting to get some adult teeth coming through so it's pretty good checked his tongue and all that sort of thing on the whole well i think he's pretty good so yeah he didn't like getting his mouth ripped open but you know they checking out his tongue she was going on about something about his tongue i'm not really exactly sure what she was on about but he seemed okay Checked all his ears and everything, his belly. Had a look at his bottom and whatever. But yeah, he was pretty good. Give him a bit of a feel up. He was no problem. He, he just behaved himself really good. He was really good. So yeah, he's not a bad little cat, actually. I hear she's going to check his heartbeat and that. Listen to his heart. But yeah, he just sat there. He wasn't purring or anything. He just was sitting there. I think he bit, didn't know exactly what was going on. But on the whole, he's not a bad little critter. So yeah, they did this and then they put him back in the basket. Yeah, but they were patting him and all that sort of thing. He was quite happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah, they put him back in his basket for a little bit. And she was going through explaining all this paperwork and all the different diseases and vaccinations and everything else they have to have. But he just sat in the basket. He was quite, he was happy as Larry. Didn't really complain or anything. 
Yeah, this is all the paperwork. She had, she had so much paperwork she was showing me. And going through. This was stuff about his eyes. There's a disease that affects their eyes. And then if they sneeze, they sneeze out stuff. But he's been pretty good. I don't think I don't think he's crook, so I don't think much problem with him. Anyway, then they got him out again, and this is when they give him the injection. But a couple of them were holding him down. But they give him the injection. He never even never even whimpered or moved or anything. He was as good as gold. He was as good as gold. So anyway, it's not such a bad ordeal going to the vets. They do sort of stick you up a bit. Like at Hunda, where I got him from, they said it was going to be 4,800 yen. At this vet I went to today in Nishia, they charged me 6,400. So it was a couple of thousand more expensive. And actually... At Honda, I got a price for him to desex him over there, and it was like uh, 30,000 yen. Here it's 46,000 yen. So I think I'll be taking him to Honda to get him desexed. Like it's 16,000 um, yen more expensive. So I think he'd be going to Honda to get desexed. It's a good vet over Honda, it's really busy. So I think it's a pretty good vet. Anyway, that's about it. So he was all finished. It was time to get him, pay the bill and uh, head home. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, have a good one. All done. You're done. We go home now. We go home now.